absolutely cracking performance by the boys, and again, it sets us instead for trying to get that home tie in the in the playoffs if we get there. Well, definitely, that's the plan. I mean, we, we talked to the lads um, before the game. I think two really good performances previously, you know, Margate and... Uh, what's his name, Mersham, you know, we just need to continue it. We know how important it is to get the home tie, do you know what I mean, for the uh, playoffs. Um, and they set it out today on a tough pitch again, play some lovely football and deservedly run it 6-2, to be honest. Um, to be fair, I thought um, it'd be a lot tighter encounter in, 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 uh, in truth. I mean, um, they actually scored first, didn't they? And I think they had a couple of half chances, you know, um, but I think we were just really clinical today. Um, it was a hard for a defender, you know, you couldn't quite get your foot in. And I think um, their defence struggled with like Atco and Drakes and Miller. Um, and I think when we did get the chance, as I say, like we were very clinical, so um, that helped. Ashley got his first goal, obviously, for him, Victor. He showed glimpses, obviously, when he came on in the Margate game. And he showed today why we've why we've brought him in. Obviously, a natural goal scorer, and he's got that burst of acceleration that defenders find hard to keep up with. Well, definitely, he's got class. You know, I mean, as a 16-year-old, he um, he had a, a couple of appearances for Gillingham's first team. So you've got to have something about you. I mean, he's got that little bit of quality where he can glide past people, like righty as well, the same kind of standard. And the best thing about it is, Cugs has kind of created a squad now where we have got people that can win games for us, you know, and he definitely fits that bill. So, yeah, good person to bring in. We saw the other night against Margate, he's electric, he's um, so sharp, and he's got that little bit of quality, and I think that showed today, um, even the chance he had. I know it's quite easy 1v1, whatever to say he should score, but he had a lot of time there to overthink it, and um, it's, it's a great finish in the end. Um, and I think we've got real attacking options now. We've got three different types of players as well, in Drakes, Atco, and um, Miller. And then obviously we've got the likes of Jordan, Pillbeam, people like that as well, that are waiting in the wings, um, that when they do come on, they've got so much quality as well. So it's really nice at the moment, we've got a really good squad. Matt Newman scored an absolutely great goal, maybe goal of the month and maybe even goal of the season. But um, does that show again, we, we haven't just got goals up front, we've got goals all over the pitch? Yeah, I think we've definitely got uh, creativity all over the pitch now and people that can score goals. I mean, Mev, Mev can score and Mev's our holding midfielder. So no, you need that, you know, because there's going to come a time in the season where it's going to be stalemate, nil-nil, and someone that you least expect is going to pop up. I think before, we've always had like a good 11, but I mean, we've been lucky with injuries in the past. I think if we'd have ever had any injuries or things like that, we'd be really struggling. And, you know, there's times when we get to 70, 80 minutes in a game when like people are sort of dead on their feet and we haven't really had the subs to come on that we could trust. Whereas I think now you've got the likes of Flav, Pillbeam, Jordan's on the bench today, obviously. Um, you've got the Ray E, um, Reese still to come back into the fold as well. So we've got some real options on the bench um, that don't weaken the team when we need to make those subs. So it's really pleasing at the moment. Probably, as you say, the strongest squad we've had in a long time.